everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So this is episode 99. I know it's been a while since I've recorded. Um, I do plan to get to 100, maybe beyond, but I think probably what I'm going to end up having to do is probably once a week. Right now i got Funky Steve's Medina's going in um, Rogue Tech version 997, um, and Night Witches has just been updated to a 998. I do have another series that I'm planning on bringing out in the 998 vein, uh, based in clan space. I think I want the Rogue Tech version 998 to stabilize a bit. I think there's still a few bugs and stuff that they need to work out, but I'm going to wait until that happens before doing that. So Funky Steve's Medina's will continue along in 997 for now. Um, Night Witches will be in 998. So this version, I really don't have enough time during the week to record three episodes a night. Uh, two episodes, sometimes stretching it, but I'm able to get through it. So um, I'll be doing, I think, Cold Forged one on the weekend, one episode a weekend, maybe maybe more. Uh, I think I will continue beyond episode 100. I am enjoying this, being out in clan space and stuff. Um, however, just going to show you the map real quick. I've been finding it difficult to find missions that are sort of our lance size capable. There's a lot of uh, four or five skull planets which are just a little bit beyond our capability at the moment um, and my playing ability at the moment. There's a couple of uh, two and a half skull, but the issue with these, um, I'm just going to go to, the, to um, the contracts real quick and you can see what I mean. We're on a four skull planet right now. So we've got lower end missions, two and a half um, down to one and a half skull missions, which we can do no problem. And then we've got a couple of five skull missions, which I think we can probably do redirection. Uh, we're not going to do that today. We're going to do civilian extraction today. Um, this is basically an escort mission. Uh, we do. We are going to need some funds, uh, but we want salvage most of all. I'm um, hoping to pick up some good clan salvage here. I know it's against the local government, which means we might not be fighting clan mechs, but, you know, that's uh, neither here nor there. Uh, the next episode that we do will be redirection, five skull. We can see if we can get through this escort mission. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to try and do. So uh, let's take civilian extraction today and negotiate this. And we're going to go for full salvage and accept. And we're going to go with our standard lance here, the heavier lance. Uh, I know we need some speed on this mission, but I'm not really that worried about it. I think if we position ourselves, I think we should be just fine. Um, the lance weight is 308 tons, 154,000 for drop cost. I'm just thinking here really quick, maybe we could switch a couple guys out. Uh, if we go with the hunchback, hmm, bushwhacker is a good option. It's good sustained firepower. Jaeger's got the Goss rifles. We got our melee mech. Do we need all this firepower and weight? Probably not. The Annihilator doesn't have full range of firepower because we have to worry about ammunition. We've got the two racks, Marauder 2. So I think the Marauder 2 is probably fine. Let's run Okay, Pylon, let's put you in the K5. What do we got? This is just a straight-up missile mech. And I think we're okay for ammo on this guy, too. 60 rounds, and we've got a double. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, um, 10, 12. Four, yeah, about 15 turns of ammo on this guy. Bring him in. The Zeus Assault. It's got the two LBXs, the Aero System, ER Large. Let's bring in perhaps the Warhammer as the lead mech. Marauder 2 can probably come out, and let's put the Bushwhacker in. I think this should probably be... Well, we really need the Zeus, though. That's the question. Let's move the Catapult over, and let's give Pylon... Let's get the Wolverine in here. Let's go melee. Yeah, let's run this lance and see how it goes. I think we should probably be okay. This Warhammer might run out of ammo with the LBXs and the ATMs, but we still do have uh, a fair amount of other weapons that we can rely on. Um, the ER Large 
two ER larges and stuff. So let's go this route and see how we do. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. All right, we know this escort mission. We grab our guys from here, escort them to here, and then fight the reinforcements that arrive over here, or, well, we'll see what happens. Chances for three sets of uh, units. Look like we got a unit defending here, so. All right, pylons, get to work. So, as we move in here, I just want to say I'm really loving the new version of Rogue Tech. They've done a really great job with it. Um, there's nothing about it that I don't love right now. I like the fact that they fixed, fixed the view distance on stuff. So that um, you can see the mechs now when they're a lot closer in. My biggest complaint was that you really couldn't see your enemy. Even when they were close, you couldn't see them a lot of the time. Which was a you know kind of a sticking point for me. I, I kind of like being able to see the opponents you're up against rather than just red dots everywhere. Um, so yeah, that that's been re rectified, which I think is great. Um, I think balance wise, it's a little better. When I first started um, um, with Night Witches in nine nine seven, um, there was a few I don't want to say issues, but there was a few things that uh, bothered me a little bit. Um, and most of those have been taken care of, so... Uh, let's get into... Here. On the move. Full speed. And take a pot shot. Firing on target. The other thing, too, is I, I noticed now that, that uh, I've been playing the... Um, Oh, it's a Marshall. Now that I've been playing the 997-998 uh, packs, I'm more defensive with my movements. Whereas with these guys, I used to be like right in everybody's face. Right? But now it's like I'm I, I'm playing defensively because you really couldn't do that in 997-998 without having to worry about everybody shooting at you really fast. So... Now, I gotta remember I can get in people's faces here. Alright, Grand Dragon. I thought that was gonna be a catapult. Let's, uh, let's get cold metal in here. I don't wanna be too close to him, I don't think, but let's get into here. I think we're gonna finish up this guy here. He looks so sad. Uh,. LRM, two medium pulse, and a large laser. 55 tons. This guy's got a Gauss plus and a PPC triple plus, so we should probably deal with him, I think, first, too. So let's uh, multi target this out. This guy's still got a lot of armor. I want to make him unstable. So let's go this and this. And, whoops. These guys will stay on A, and all this will go to B. And let's fire. Oh, it didn't even make him unstable, really. Really? I thought that would have destabilized him for sure. Yep. Yep. Okay, Hicks, let's get in here. Uh, I don't think you really need to. I think moving to here is probably fine. On it. We're not going to shoot on the fire starter since he's not unstable, but we will blast this guy here. Um, yeah, let's, uh, plaster him with, it. plaster him with everything. Okay, he's got a lot of stability. Oh, we got a 100-tonner back here. Runner, too, really? Maybe we should have brought the heavier, me heavier mechs. What's he doing? He's thinking. Standing on the building. Do we crash? Hope we didn't crash. Please tell me we didn't crash. Nope. He's just thinking. Oh, 
the rocket launcher spam. Rocket launcher spam is alive and well. Yeah, not that low. Okay, he's standing right in that. I can't go after him yet. I was going to send Pylon in to give him the give him the what for, but can't do that. Pew, because we'll be in the square. We'll activate the convoy, and then we'll be in trouble. All right. Um, Let's show this dragon that he really needs to not be here. Hopefully we kick him right in the head. So let's do that. 119, nice man. Hammer him. Oh crap, really? Yeah, no joy for me either. Okay, Marshall. Uh, okay. I'm trying to flank, I think, more than anything. All right, recoil. Um, Good to go. Fifty-seven, huh? Let's get into here. Um, just gonna dump everything straight into this guy. Oops. Hope we didn't shoot the people we were supposed to be escorting. Sorry, my bad. Not at that range, you're not. You're not as skilled as we are. Alright, um... Let's eliminate this minor threat here first. Okay, we don't have one, left, one less guy we have to worry about. Um, I want you to punish the to dragon, because that guy's going to get his stability back if we just shoot him. So, let's punish the dragon. Grand dragon. Won't be so grand after we're done with him. Well, that was delayed, but sure, I'll take that. Right torso. <laughs> That guy's overheating already. Damn it, it took a PPC hit. Damage He's just gonna stand there, is he? Sure, why not? Yes, Commander. Uh if we go after that side, that marshal could get a shot in the back of our back here. Let's go after this side again. On my way. Whoa! There we go. Kick to the head. Well, ain't that a kick in the head. Target eliminated. Nicely done. See, the thing I did, I do like about the new version um, of Rogue Tech is we could shoot this guy, right? We could do lob missiles on him because he's in sensor range. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to shoot him, right? Yeah. What can I do you for? What can I do you for? Five dollars. Uh, it's going to be putting our back dangerously close. Can we walk into there? No. Let's just get up into here. Get in this guy's grill. And we're going to not target the building. We're going to target him. And fire. Wow, you missed with one. You. Yeah. Not even going to say it. Uh, let's get in. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. I'll do what I can. All right, let's do this one. Dumping everything into him. Okay, I'm on it. Let's make him unstable. Where we're going to run into trouble is if we have three units facing us. Maybe we should have brought the heavier weight units. We're still doing okay for armor. This is a bit heavier of an engagement than I thought we were going to get. Oh yeah, man. Look at those leg shots. Yeah, you're going down, buddy. Enemy 
Yeah, I really love the loadout on this Warhammer. It's a 70 tonner, but it packs a heavy, heavy set of firepower. <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> He's hiding. That's not fair. Good to go. No, not you. He's hiding. It, 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 he's hiding. Look at him. He moved right in. He's hiding in the corner. That's just sad. Save some ammo. <laughs> just fire the PPCs. Right torso gone. Yeah, man. Nice hit. Come on. Come out in the open. There you are. Okay, we're gonna reserve pylon. You. Oops. Reserve. Yep. Uh. How badly we want to kill this guy? I got lots of ammo left. Still got over ten turns. Let's do this. Copy that. Then we'll drop some stuff on this guy. God, the speed on those Warhammer too. It's crazy. Okay, let's uh, dial it back. Let's leave the ammo off. Uh, we can leave a couple of medium lasers off as well. Fire the rest. Okay, so that should be three wounds out of four. Yeah. Standing by. Can I melee this guy? I can't even melee him. That's not going to be a back shot, is it? Hmm, that's iffy, eh? That should well, that's indirect. I need to direct line of sight on this guy. I don't know, man. Is that going to be a back shot? If he moves, it will be. But Pilot's got such good re um, evasion. I think we'll probably be okay. So we're going to go for the CT hit on this guy and fire. Still not enough. All right. <laughs> See if he's going to try and go further up here and hide. Nope, he's coming back. Protecting the goods, protecting the side. Good job. That's what you do, man. How much has he got left here in the CT? Twenty-two. Waiting for orders. Heading out. See if we can finish this guy up, Pylon. Okay, nice shooting, buddy. We can salvage that. Sure can. At least the PPC, anyway. Ah, uh, we're taking too much damage here. Can we get up there? Damage minimal. Not minimal, man. Forty points is not minimal. <sighs> damage minimal. No, 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 no. Don't say minimal fucking damage, please. Miss with one PPC. Yeah. Let's make him unstable, please. Got it. Hammer this guy. This and you get a big LRM boat like this, the last thing you guys want to do is stand in the open. Big mistake. Do not stand in the open. Um, let's go with these and fire. It's going down. He's a stick. He's going to be a dead stick in a minute. What's up, Commander? Uh, let's leave this off. I don't know if he's running an XL engine. Is he? No. Uh, what's he got left in the center? 
Ah, a fair bit. Um, let's just go for a headshot and just see where they land. Panic level critical. Commander. Taking a protective stand. See what he does here. Doesn't have much left. Uh, we're gonna leave off these guys and fire all the lasers. There we go. Alright, Hickory, let's get moving. Understood. Moving fast. So we got about still ten turns of missiles left. Good to go. Uh let's just stay right here, buddy. Location confirmed. Ready for war. Okay, so if we get reinforcements on this boat, there are going to be two of them will be across the river here and two of them will be up ahead, probably. I think I've had them over here too, but I can't rem yep. really remember exactly. At least I feel like I have. So we're going to set up so we're well protected here. Warhammer's taking a bit of damage in the torsos, I don't really like that. Catapult's still fresh though. Okay, pylon, you can stay there. Commander. Um let's get a recoil here, covering across the water. Let's get hickory here. Like this is a like right in here, I guess. Yeah. Um this is a two and a half skull, so the vehicles might be quick. I just gotta keep ahead of them if I can. We'll move up here. We're gonna activate them next turn. Okay, Pi, let's get in here. Life of Pylon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just brace right here for now. And Hickory, I want you up a little bit. And then the Warhammer, I kind of want up a little further, like in here. So we can take advantage of our medium lasers on any mechs that are up ahead. And let's just end it here. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Okay, I don't see any reinforcements here. But there's a marker up here. Uh, let's reserve. So these guys are all going on turn three. Okay, that's pretty. That's good. That's good for us, I think. Standing by. Um. Don't think you need to sprint. Position confirmed. I don't see any mechs. Looking pretty good. I think we're okay in the second round here. Yep. Gonna need to fight to get out of here. So now I have to decide. So if we don't have mechs here, I can send guys over to the other side to set up in the trees here. Um, that is kind of cheating, and I don't think we need to do it on this particular one, so we're not gonna do it. Just gonna move forward. We're gonna get our heavy mechs up ahead. Our mediums are gonna guide the uh, vehicles. So we just need to be up spaced enough so that the vehicles know that they're safe if they travel along here. If you get too far ahead of them, they, they won't really move. Just going to reserve. Make sure all these guys are moving. We want them there roughly at the same time. Don't want to give the enemy an opportunity to hit them. So we're going to sprint these guys up here. Want them in position, I think, before the enemy does arrive. Okay, and Pylon, let's just walk up beside these guys. Thank you. I think we can probably get recoil a little further up ahead. Not sure how far these guys will move, but let's get into here and see if they can get up a little further. Uh, 
Yeah, they're moving pretty slow. So let's just reserve. Let's let them go. Just want to make sure they all stay together. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the boring part here. It is what it is. This was a five skull. We would definitely have a second layer of mechs. Um, so keeping that in mind, when we do go to the five skull, it might be this exact same map. I want to bring a lance that's going to be um, capable of handling the punishment that the enemy is going to put out on us. Don't need to move very far because these guys aren't moving very far. Let's get into here. You also too want to try and stay out of the vehicle's way because if you're blocking the road that they generally travel on, sometimes they won't go around you, they just stop where you are. The more you play, the more you know where all the roads are. Okay, now, uh, with this map, and this being version 995, I think what we want to do, there's an issue with this map. When the enemy shows up here, a mech will show up or a vehicle will show up right here. And if you attack him before... Um, he's able to do anything and move you can end up in a spin lock not sure why that is yes, I've tried just shooting him I've tried destroying him um, but you really need to let him move first so just staying back far enough to allow them movement for a turn is probably the best way to stop it from spin lock don't know if that was introduced in rogue tech uh, or if that was introduced in um, Battle tech, but generally you just want to let them move first. Uh, and Hickory yeah. can come up in here. Roger. Uh, yeah, you can get over on this side now. Move order received. Cause they're going to be coming along here. Ready for orders. And you can finish stepping on these buildings. They didn't really want them anyway, so. They're evacuating. <laughs> That's our story and we're sticking to it. Anything they want to keep should be off planet by now. Because we ain't paying for it. Alright. Um, doing a pretty good job of keeping these guys together. Which is awesome. Let's get recoil up here. I'm keeping Pylon at the end. Uh, because he is the fastest, he can get into battle faster than anybody else. Let's not go too far. To Just want to make sure these guys keep moving. Uh, and Hickory, yep. let's get you back here. Copy that. I think the Warhammer is probably okay there. I Just want to stop them from shooting on us. Reserve. So, um, recoil is in a good spot because sometimes you get mechs that spawn like right over here and they can get direct shots on our guys so being able to fire back at them from this position is actually not bad he's got the range too right so Commander. okay pie let's get up to here the life of pie lawn okay they can just fortify god it's taking forever too bad there's not like a uh a fast movement system that allows you to just like you know move your guys up ahead like based on two turns at a time or something like that right okay pylon I think you can leapfrog now I think recoil's got that covered so let's get up here I need you in striking distance alright painful parts almost over First vehicle's almost there. So they should pretty much hit all at the same time. I think we'll probably have one guy left out of the hex. Oh, maybe not. They might all make it. No, I think this guy will be left just short, most likely. Standing by. Let's get you striking distance here. 
we don't know what's coming out so just want to make sure that we're not going to get uh, screwed here could end up with a couple hundred ton mechs yeah are you kidding me see they changed order so that guy here we go enemy mechs coming We will. Oh, we're not going to hold our ground. We're taking ground, buddy. Okay, did this guy move? No, not yet. 55 tonner. Not really worried about that. Okay. 70 tonner. Uh, let's reserve. And we're going to fortify. There's no point in moving in yet. Dropships in. These guys should be out this turn. As long as we don't have a hero, Irby. If you guys have watched my earlier episodes in Cold Forge, you'll know all about the hero, Irby. With the Rack 5. Came up over the hill. <laughs> the first vehicle pulls in. The hero, Irby, comes up over the hill and wrecks it. It just... I didn't even have a chance to move. I didn't have a chance to do anything. The hero, Irby, just shows up and kills it. He was a hero that day. He died hard, but he was the hero. Okay, good. 70 tenner. I like when unexpected things like that happen. I mean, it was bad for the mission, of course, because we didn't... Five tons? Is that a... Oh, it's probably a power armor or something. 35. Well, we didn't get the mecha tonnage we were hoping for on this one, but that's okay. All right, Pylon, let's start it off. Uh, let's punch this guy straight in the face. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Makes you wish you stayed at home, huh? <laughs> you hit with everything, too. Yeah. Okay, Coils, let's get up here. Let's hammer this guy, too. Let's get him off the yeah. map here, so we don't have to worry about him. And we can just engage long range. Put the Ultra 5 on. We saved the ammo for no reason. But... He's going down. Sure is. It's not having a good day. Okay, we're going before him again, so we don't need to engage him anymore. Let's get the Warhammer out here. Um, how far can we go? We can get into the trees. Let's put this boy in the trees. It's freaking power armor. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, Mjolnir. We got one of these going on in... Uh, um, Funky Steve's. So, let's see if we can grab some stuff off this guy. He's got weak armor. He'll probably die horribly. Uh, let's multi-target this out. We're going to go here and here. We're going to put all these guys on A. And we're going to try to make B unstable. So we're going to fire these guys. Let's do this. Ouch. Someone's having a bad day. I can't imagine what it would be like to be in a power armor and then just get ripped apart by a PPC or something. Yeah. Like, it's bad enough when you're in a mech, right? You get hit by that PPC and it's that heavy blast and, you know, you're like, that was a hard hit. But it's very rare that you're going to get hit in the head and feel that full blast. But those guys in power armor, man, they feel the whole thing, right? It's, it's got to be really sad for them. This is a horrible way to die. I think I would rather be infantry, right? At least you can hide from battle mechs, right? Whereas if you're in power armor, you show up on their sensors and you just... They just kill you. At least you could argue as an infantryman when you don't engage. It's like, what, what can I do against a battle mech, right? There's just no point. But when you're power armor, you're expected to engage battle mechs. And you just... When you... <laughs> Like the you just that guy would have just burned alive or something. I don't know what would have happened to him, but he would have just, um, yeah, man, he'd be like burnt to a t burnt to a crisp. Roger, full speed. Okay, pylon, can we get within? Well, I thought we were almost within spike wrecking ball range, but we're not. So let's hit with these guys, making him unstable. Waiting for order. Okay, recall that guy's yours. Moving out. Busting out. Okay. So I'm interested to see what the five skull escort's going to be like. 
Yep, that's what I would have done too. It's a bad choice, but it's really the only choice. Warhammer's going to kill him. Um, but we don't want him to die, so we're not going to kill him. We're going to multi-target. Uh, this guy's taking all the lasers. This guy's taking the destabilization stuff. Destabilization. Oh, all the lasers hit. Ouch. Yeah, we're not going to be able to capture that Mjolnir. What do you need? Uh, I need you to blast that Mjolnir, please. He's really the... Th well, do we want to kill this guy? No, this guy isn't gone. Oh, this guy's gone. No, he hasn't. Um, let's hammer home the message that he should not be on this planet. Grind shot. Yeah. That panther's probably dropped a load and it's, he's running. <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. I, I'd be running too. But we can't let you live because there's no way you can get off planet. We have to complete this mission, so... If you're lucky, this guy takes your head off. And it's quick. Quick and painful. That was quick. And painful. There it is, folks. So contract payment increased by 30%, which is good because we have a heavy drop cost. So this should be more than enough to repair our mechs with. And I don't think we took any internal crits, which is good. Because internal crits are bad. Alright. Almost no experience either. Okay, we got four pieces. Oh, we do have... Uh... What do you think, guys? Just take the Mjolnir? I uh, know I don't take mech parts, but right, we're at the end of this this uh, thing, so we might as well. I mean, we do have lots of endo steel, seven left, light engines. I don't think we have any, but that's fine. I think we have a Clan XL kicking around somewhere, uh, and there's nothing else that's really down here that we really need. So yeah, let's take a Mjolnir. So we got an did we get an extra Mjolnir part? No, we didn't. Power armor part, hooray for that, Grand Dragon. Got the Gauss Rifle, plus 10 damage, not bad. Couple rocket launchers, meh. Uh, we did get some endo steel, not that we need it, but yeah, a couple of arms, not bad. Alright, there it is. Improved Gauss and PPC damage, so... 63,000, nothing for repairs, really. Yeah, we're okay with the financial report, that's good. So, um... In the uh, Rogue Tech Cold... Or, uh, Sorry, the uh, Funky Steve's Medinas. Um, um, Fists of Dorn mentioned that we should turn the uh, Mjolnir into a Mjolnirbeck. I think, probably, we'll do that here. I think it's going to work itself. Let's just see what we've got on this guy. Oh yeah, I fixed the, I fixed the Stormcrow too. We not, don't have anything on this guy really. we got five support points. Two in this arm, one in this arm. Oh my god, we could turn this guy into a wrecker. Two more here. Um, yeah, this guy's going to be our new melee mech. Let's fix him. This will be our new melee mech. We're going to strip the Warhammer. Or the uh, Wolverine, sorry. Let's do this. And let's do that. And let's do that today. Let's just fix that today. See if we've got. I don't think. I think we can sell some stuff if we don't have the cash for it. Should be no problem putting it together though. Uh, let's get Hogweed spending a week in the mech bay. LRM double plus. Eh, not that we'll use it, but sure, why not? Okay, everything's repaired. Let's have a look now. So the first thing we should do, I think, is strip this Wolverine. Most likely. Because it's got all the good stuff on it. So let's strip it. Yep, 
Yeah, we're going to need the Clown XL engine, I think. Probably the big core. Um, the ECM for sure. Combat shield. Yeah, we're going to need all this stuff. So let's strip it. 26000 not a big deal. I really hope that fixing this mech doesn't cost more than 516 490 Shouldn't. Um, Mjolnir, where are you? Here you go. So adding 15 tons to our melee mech is going to be huge for us. So let's strip the gear off this guy. Let's max out the armor first to start. Uh, I'm going to equipment. Um, well, we can't put the NSS in just... Well, I think we can. Will it sit? Yeah, we just need to make sure we have uh, Clan Endo Steel. Make sure we have the uh, stuff we need. Okay, Clan XL. Uh, probably going to need exchangers and stuff. We want a cockpit that's going to reduce our damage. Well, a command console will be nice too. Two injury resists, space flight distance, and initiative bonus. This is a heavy mech, right? Going in the medium mech phase might be a huge advantage, but I'm thinking the NI cockpit for the minus 10% damage taken plus one melee accuracy, it's a huge deal. Um, the plus 10% melee damage is okay, but I'm thinking the damage reduction is probably better. Uh, we don't want the retractable blades. We want spiked fist. We have plus five. I thought we had, we have talons. That's a little better than a... Why is this so... Can add talents to that side? Why not? Oh, these are for legs. Duh. Durr. Um, want the angel in there. Combat shield, we know we do want. So... We had the 325 before. That's 225 kilometers an hour. What's the 340 give us? 230. Well, what's the difference in weight? What's this way? 17 and a half. So that's a ton and a half for 5 kilometers an hour. Let's just keep it. Uh, I'm not going to put the 400 in as much as it would be advantageous, I think. I think we need to leave it out. I thought we had a mask. Did I miss that somewhere? Uh, we want the defensive gyro in here. Um, I thought we had a mask in here. Tractable blades. What does this give us? Plus 5 base and melee damage. Spike Fist gives us plus 5, 30% melee, melee stability. Melee crit chance, which is kind of what, more what we want, I think. This isn't going to give us much room for a, a thing on that arm. Um, looking for good stuff. Pirate engine would be nice, but it's just too much space. We'd have to take the ECM out of the center torso. Uh, maybe we could do that, though. Like, I mean, the pirate engine gets his walking and sprinting distance, reduced heat, reduced engine weight, still reduces, still gives us, well, we lose two more slots. Just thinking the walking and sprinting distance would be nice. Spall, spall liner is not, present, not bad either rather than the NSS, but I think we want to go stealthy more than anything. Um, weapons. So. Plasma Lance. Tag, Narc, EMP. Spike Wrecking Ball. Can we put two on one arm? <laughs> we could put, oh, we can only put one on? Why can't we put two on one arm? That's not fair. Uh, we may have to take the re retractable blade off this. Fire fists. Oh, that's two. One evasion pip ignore, plus one accuracy, plus 15 heat damage. 15 damage. Double damage over against overheating targets. I don't know. I'll see what there for a minute. 
Oh, can we only have one melee weapon per arm? Shit, we could put Boomstick in the torso. Is that not insane or what? Spike Wrecking Ball. Stability is 45 though. That's the bonus with that one, right? But the Boomstick is going to be providing us a lot of instability. Well, maybe not. It's only 3 per, per shot, right? There's 10 projectiles, so at max it's going to do 30 stability. But this guy... It's 45. It's a huge difference, right? Fire fists. I mean, if we decide to not go with the combat shield, we've we got the DNA cockpit to reduce damage by 10%. That's enough to pull out missile damage and reduce PPC damage and stuff by just a little bit. Um, if we lose the combat shield, let's say, just for the sake of argument, then we could go with two spike wrecking balls and a boomstick. So this at least gives us some ranged damage. How much is the three tons for a plasma lance? Cannot add it to the left torso. Is there anything else we could add to the torso though, weapon wise? I mean, there's the paint gun. Generates 15 heat for two turns. Inferno gun. Paint gun to obscure vision. We need ammo still. Uh, let's do that first. And need ammo. I'm thinking two tons is probably going to be enough. Um, can we use precision AC ammo? We can. That's still five shots, right? Yeah. That's ten turns of firing, leaving us four tons left over. Do we have a double heatsink kit? I don't remember seeing one. We don't. Heat's going to be a major issue. Klein exchanger's one ton. Heat won't be an issue. <laughs> yep, not at all. So let's do that. Got three tons left over. Christ, this guy's going to be a monster. We need, um... Uh, we need case. Definitely need case. Where is it? Down here somewhere. Um, we could add a ballistic for the boomstick. Case 2 for sure. We don't have clan armor. So this case 2 is fine. Two tons left. I mean we could add... We could add a pair of tags. Oh wait, no. You know what we need? I forgot all about it. Um, People are probably, no, no, Clan, or the uh, pirate ER mediums. It adds a lot of heat, but the six base melee damage each is going to be a huge bonus. So, I don't know, this is like way off, base damage 70, it's a little way different than that. So, yeah, base damage 70. I don't know if we really have the speed in this guy with the 325. It's not going to be moving that fast. Um, maybe we leave the... God, I hate to say this, but maybe we leave the boomstick off. What else could we fill in if we didn't use boomstick, though? Can the fire fist go? No, it would swap out. Okay, so these would work. We could put one of these in this arm, one of them in the torso, and then plasma lance can't go in the torso, can it? No. Um, let's 
It's too bad we can't put spike wrecking balls in the torso. Kind of like, you know, like nipple rings or something like that that we could swing around by swinging our torso. That'd be hilarious. Uh, we could we could drop a haywire in, a narc beacon in. And boost the engine up for speed. Speed is going to be the major thing that we need on this guy. Um, so let's try this for a second. Let's take the boomstick out. We got the two ER mediums. That's fine. Let's grab the bigger engine. Let's grab the 340 or the 400. This is way more weight though. Yeah, we can't do that. Um, 340 is only a ton and a half, so let's do that. And then let's drop... Let's take... Um, got a lot of tonnage still to play with. So if we take... We could drop the combat sh you know, we can't. It won't fit. Um, crap. Supercharger, walk and sprint distance. Got to go in the CT. That would make sense. Okay, where is that pirate engine? Just for sake of argument, we wouldn't need heat sinks then. Um, got so much stuff now. Um, Oh, we can't. Because of the supercharger. So the supercharger is a little better. It's generating extra heat, which means we need more heat sinking, though. Um, so let's go and... Hmm. Can't add any exchangers because we have the clan one in there. If we add the regular heat sinks... So, spike fist is definitely better. Spike leg boots we still need to add. One thing we haven't added yet. Um, regular heat sinks. We can add three to the CT. Making things a little better. Remember, we're not going to be firing the medium lasers all the time. Um, so let's look at what we can add here. Not much, really. Um, fluid gun. Put that in the arm for heat damage. EMP. We're going against the clans. I think the EMP is probably better than using um, the NARC because then we can take the tag and throw it in here too. We got half a ton over, which we can easily rectify by putting some patchwork materials in. And we stripped a bunch of armor off the. Hey, what the hell is that coming from? Stripped a bunch of armor off the back. Let's put the patchwork. We need to install a fusion core. What? Did I pull out? Oh, for Christ's sake. I blame it on the drugs. We need three more heat sinks. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we got a quarter ton because we put the patchwork materials in. We're going to add it on the back. Almost at full armor. I like that. Um, yeah, so I think we got a mech here. Just missing more talons. If we can get some more talons, that would be nice. The plus 10 base melee damage is really nice. The melee accuracy is nice. The spike fist, if we can get another one of these. Um, the stability and crit chance are great on this guy. Plus 25% melee damage. Retractable blade. 
gives us the same base melee damage. 45% percent, percent added to melee damage, but less stability. And I'm, want, I'm looking more for stability pro, uh, damage. 30% more is nice with the spike wrecking balls. But two of these guys, if they both hit. The fluid gun's nice because it can add some flame to the enemy. It'll burn for two turns. So, you know, the mechs that are generating a lot of heat, this will uh, really help out. Tag and haywire. Tag them for us. Haywire so they get minus chance to hit. And reduced heat sinking and all that stuff. That's kind of cool. Our heat generation is... Not bad considering these pirate medium lasers won't be fired at all times. They generate 20 heat each, each, so that's 40, so that'll be dropping. Right? But we can fire those on our way in. Even when we're in close, and then just melee. So, you know, 40 damage each is kind of really nice. Variable plus or minus 6. Not so bad. So, I mean, you know, averaging 40 damage is good. I think we're going to try this. Now, my only concern is the speed. 230 kilometers an hour is not very fast. I don't think that's adding this, so it's another 25 roughly kilometers an hour, so 255 isn't really that fast. We really need a mask, which we don't have, unfortunately. That's the thing we need really badly. So if we can find one, um, somewhere along the way that would be good yeah we don't really have anything else I mean the only other option is to put retractable blades here as well but we lose the extra stability well it's only 10% more but 45 melee damage it's one more ton though we'd have to pull a ton off we could pull a heatsink out Yeah, I think we do that. The extra 20% melee damage over top of an extra 10% stability I think is better. Less crit chance. Ugh. Let's leave the spike fist. We can always change it out later if we have to. The crit chance is really nice. That's like blowing shit up if we get a good hit with it. So let's keep that. The NI cockpit, plus one melee accuracy. I mean, I guess the other way to go would be to use a spiked helmet for bo more melee damage. And two injury resist. But the minus 10% damage taken is kind of nice. And right now... If it's Pylon running this, he's got 5 health already. <sighs> it's a tough call. I mean, the extra 10% melee damage. Doesn't really say how much we're doing here. So let's say our base damage is 70. Right? Spike Fist adds 5. Retractable Blade adds 5. So that's 80. Talons give us another 10. That's 90. Um, and then 102. And then we've got 25, um, 30, 70, 80, 90. That's almost 200 damage. It's a bonus of 90% damage. That's giving us almost 200 damage. So I don't think we need the extra 10% melee. The plus one melee accuracy, I think, and the damage reduction is probably going to give us more in the end. Considering if it's going to be a five skull clan mission, we are going to be hit. There's no doubt about that. We are going to be hit. So losing 10% off of every hit is going to be important. It's just too bad we can't get that shield in here. That would be really nice. Um... You know what I like to see too is melee weapon stacking. So like changing the spike wrecking ball is kind of a cool idea but if you add two of them together on this side it becomes a spiked flail. So it would double the stats but rather than being six tons maybe seven tons because then you have to add an extra ton to 
weld the two of them together or even eight tons I'd be happy with that that'd be kind of cool um, yeah so let's go this route we're gonna confirm this 16 days we got a half a month we gotta wait and that's fine so back in 16 uh, and then we'll take that uh, mission so probably what I'll do between episodes is I'll pull off um, we got low-end contracts here yeah I'll probably pull off the cease and desist destroy the base just using the medium lance guys uh, it's two skull just so we have enough money to make our financial report in case disaster happens um, I might even do beat up security if I can get both it's a defend well I won't do defend base it's kind of it's always iffy if you can succeed on that especially against clans so um, this is a pirate laboratory so we can easily take this one so I'll do this one between episodes and then when we come back next time we're gonna take uh, most likely redirection the escort nice big clan salvage here um, it's for the uh, local government but that's fine and we'll see what happens uh, it could be the, I mean we could do a destroy base I'm thinking this might be a better mission to take at least we're not facing turrets um, there's no chance of two lances at once um, if we push the turrets too much I, I think we got a lot of long-range turrets we could take a lot of damage really quickly so I'm thinking that if we do redirection we're facing four mechs at once we've got a controlled situation you know yes we're gonna be taking damage over time but if we're if we do it controlled wise and be very careful we should be able to pull this off without a problem most likely it'll be three lances of max in total so I think we can do this one when we come back next time but that will probably be next weekend I can't guarantee that but most likely it will be next weekend um, and I'll pull this off in the meantime somewhere along the way um, yeah so I'm gonna leave the episode there uh, if you like it, drop a like. If you want me to go past 100 episodes, I most certainly can. But like I said, it's going to be, you know, every weekend or so because I just need the time to do it. And I can't do Funky Steve's Medinas and Night Witches and give them the attention that they need during the week unless um, like if I have to do this during the week. So I'll leave this to a weekend. Um, I can't guarantee what day it will be coming out. Today it's Sunday. This might come out Monday, tomorrow, depending on how things go today. But, um, yeah, so we'll leave the recording of Cold Forge for weekends. And hopefully get at least one episode out of, out of weekend, maybe more. If you guys want to see past 100 episodes, that's great. I'm kind of planning on that uh, Five Skull Escort mission to kind of be the last episode. That'll be episode 100. Um, but if there's call for me to do more, I'll definitely do more on the weekends, and that's fine. Alright, so if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please free to, feel free to do so. And also check out my other series running in Rotec version 997 and 998. Uh, Funky Steve's Medinas and Night Witches respectively. And until next time, we'll see you later.